Hey everybody, this is Andrew. Just after update number 79 where we introduced this awesome set of features around importing, exporting, saving, and uh, auto training your class builds. So I just created this new group. They're brand new off the shelf and I wanted to show off how you can load builds for your group out of a Steam guide and then just proceed with that guide to get a really nice build and change it if you want to as you go. So under the training screen, there's a new import and export button, and this allows you to load from the, the list of builds that you maybe already have in your library or paste in from a clipboard. So I'm going to head off to Steam and check out a guide for my, for my crew. So I'm going to go to Steam and head into the guide section. And going to grab a class guide, and here's... Dr. Spen loves Chrome difficulty, single class character guides. This is a brand new feature, so this is the first one out. Um, so here's the hacker build. You grab the full build string like this, and we'll go back into Steam, and I'm going to grab Dade and go into his training screen, and I will respec him because that gives me a fresh start uh, to be able to load up this build. So then I'm going to import and export the build. I'm just going to click paste from clipboard right so now it's been now we've imported the auto training build and it puts it into the it links it with dates so it sticks around as long as we have it linked to him and it will be the auto training button appears here we can clear it if we want to but if he goes on missions and comes back back with xp we can keep spending that build so if i click on auto training this will give me an idea of what would what the build does so the build looks kind of pretty much like a starting build not too far off um i'm gonna grab packet loss hard shell overclock the level up packet loss level up hard shell level up overclock and then gonna further level up overclock so that's what date has in training points right now so i'm gonna just gonna train all we'll see how that looks it looks a little bit similar to a starting build that's to be expected at this point. So I'm just going to quickly grab a couple other builds off of here. So here's a soldier build, the Blitzkrieg soldier. Um, the build includes two soldiers, so if you can recruit a second soldier then you've got a good option for a second build, which is really nice. So I'm going to paste in uh, this guy. I'm just going to respec and auto train uh, his build. So we get out here. A little bit different than the starting build. Uh, and I'm also going to grab August's Scourge build. So let's do those three. Okay, so I'm pulling builds off a guide. These are, you know, there's a good description in the guide exactly what they're for, what kind of character they're building, um, what you're going to get. You can see here actually like a pretty different, that looks. Yeah, so immediately for the Scourge, we're actually doing something really different than we would if you were just starting an out-of-the-box skirt. So now I have a cool guide who's got re-knit, um, dissolve, re -knit are the things that we focused on. Um, this is giving the scourge basically built in right out of the gate. I go out and have not, uh, they're not really med kits, but it's like a healing capability that adds to stress, but it allows us to maybe think about our items a little bit differently. So, and you can talk about this as a distinct play style and shows you the weapons that you would go along with it and includes a, a picture here of the final build, which is a really unique Scourge build. Just kind of runs the outer edge and builds this uh, positional tank, which is super cool. So now we're gonna, I'm gonna pause and I'll go on a couple of missions and we'll come back and see what you do once you've run, you've imported your auto builds from a guide and now we're going to play the game and come back and check out uh, these builds after a mission or two. Okay so we're back now having uh, run some missions and everyone having gained some levels. So now let's run through our list here. We put in a build for our hacker um, and now you can see I have four extra training points so I'm going to go click my auto train build and the build that I loaded from the guide is remembered so now I'm shown that Oh wow, interesting. The build is just doubling down on uh, the talents I have, which is great. You can look at all the bonuses I'm getting here. My overclock is getting crazy powerful. My hard shell, so it's like hits three big overclock o upgrades and then hits hard shell. These are great hacking utility talents. They 
harden up your your hacker so they don't take damage from IC uh, and they overclock just lets you go faster load more programs crush faster so this is a this looks like a good build however like let's say I think I'll take them all that's good whatever I'm gonna see what they do so now we've almost we've almost maxed out um, we have in fact maxed out hard shell or overclock and we're working our way through max and let's move on to our next character so now I've leveled Dade super easy I got my awesome build off my steam guide I know what I'm doing I like it okay I'm gonna take um, let's see what what is in store for Aaron okay so we're going for savagery and then we're taking a couple of uh, other nodes so I'm gonna actually um, next this so you can do one node at a time so I just picked up savagery and I want to make sure that um, okay it looks like we're headed off this way right okay so next 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 okay so I can't right now with the feature we're working on to be able to look farther into the build than uh, then you can train but it looks like that that character's the next thing I want to make sure is we get coordinated charge in the bag so if the build hadn't been headed that direction I can just stop and go do that myself so let's look at Scourge and use that as a good example of how you have total flexibility within your own uh, build spec, how you use the auto train, right? So now I can auto train. This is going to buff Renit and head up to Metabolize, which is going to let my uh, Scourge be a really powerful combat drug user, which is cool. But for me, you know, Scourge is a little bit, um, you know, has a lot of advantages. I'd like to play the sort of uh, distraction and confusion scourge who plays along very well with a vanguard who does the proper stealth and when they're paired together they can just raise a lot of hell in a way that's a ton of fun for me so I like the build spec that we're headed down but I'm going to take a detour so I'm going to train disorient I don't have to follow the uh, the um, the auto build if I go back in you can see the auto build is ready for me it still would go and train up to metabolize but I'm going to actually veer off completely and get two extra talents brain worm and disorient which for me I feel like that's just a better starting kit for the scourge and where it kind of fits my play style but I still really like the where the build is going um, and uh, it's really nice setup so there we go we are all leveled up um, Okay, so, and then I can go back to the guide if I wanted to pick up extra classes. The guide has um, Cyber Knight, the Immortal Cyber Knight, which has a really cool, super hard and tough build. So check out the guides on Steam. We're super excited that more players are going to be posting uh, other guides and be able to share and pick these up. And it gives you so much flexibility to use somebody else's or use your own and then modify it in the middle and every time you come back from running a mission, you got a new level, and you can just click through the auto training, or at that point, look and see if you want to auto train or if you want to do something a little different. So I hope you love the feature. We're super excited. I know I'm using it constantly, and uh, let us know how it's working for you.